hello everyone in this video we will talk about use state hook so let's get started so here i have already created a empty project using npx create react app and i have also used a template clean cra what this does is it gives like clean uh, files so we don't have to delete all the stuff we usually have to do with create react app and inside my app.js i have a variable uh, avatar which I am displaying using an h1 tag which you can see it here and I have a button which says change avatar so what we will do is we will try to change state of avatar variable by clicking this button and uh, like this is an exercise which will show us like what you state really does right so and I have like a basic index.html file with some styling okay let's try to change avatar right what you would have tried doing is uh, and what i personally did when i did not know about use state hook right what i did is like i had i had a variable here let's say avatar and i just did this i came i created a function added this and i just go ahead and change the avatar like this and we need string and i'll just save it now what happens and i'll refresh this so let's uh, try to uh, change the avatar, right? When I click here, nothing happens. The problem is, let's try to uh, console log this out, avatar. And when we console log it out, and I hit change avatar, we can see that it's actually changing. So the thing is, variable has changed, but React does not know it needs to render the page, re-render the page, right? That's where use state comes in. So let's try to use use state and fix uh, and try to achieve this, right? Uh, uh, try to change the avatar. So how you use, so first we need to import it. So what you would do is go here, do this, and you will say use state from, and it's going to be from React. And then this question is how do you use it, right? I'll, let me pump up the size. And what uh, the way you use use state, it, it's tricky to say, right? Use use state, right? So what you do is you say use state, and use state is a function. Like on on bottom level, it's a function, right? So it's a function call, um, and inside this you pass in a default value, right? What you want the app to use by default before you try to change it. So here I have this ghost emoji, which we will use uh, use as default. So I'll just copy it. Uh, let's just cut it, remove this guy here and just paste it here. Okay, now this use state function returns an array, right? So array will have two things which we need. We will say const and we'll d use destructuring and put equal. Array will, uh, return array will have two things first, is the variable which you can name anything you want we can you can say foo or you can say avatar or whatever you like it's 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 like a variable so we will say avatar in this case and if we save it i mean right now we don't have anything right in h1 tag so it's empty if we save the file and go ahead and add avatar here tada we have avatar right which is returned from use state now now we need a way for us to change the avatar right so here's the best part so this use state hook uh, function gives us two things first is the variable and next is a function which helps us to change the state of that variable right so here you can say this is a best practice like you say avatar and set avatar but once again, you can name it whatever you like. This can be foo as well. So uh, up to you, your project, your variable names. <laughs> uh, who am I to judge, right? So, okay, let's fix this problem, what we are having. What you would do is you will come here, put this and call set, set avatar and we are done. So when I save it and I hit refresh the app and change avatar, ta-da, awesome, right? Uh, now let's do this first of all so that it's more fun we can say we can check for one thing if avatar is equal to let's say ghost 
then uh, we will change to this guy over here otherwise we will switch back to okay and if you're wondering how you can get this emojis uh, emoji like at least in macbook you can go here and you can say edit and emoji symbol uh, but right now I, I know shortcut like for macbook it's i think it's uh option key option command space so if i'm wrong just post in the comments so that it helps everyone else and i'll just save it and now when I, we do this we can flip it right <laughs> pretty cool okay now let's see what i need to talk okay so this is u state right this is what it is now a couple of things you should know about u state first of all this is a functional component u state can only be used inside functional compo components if you have a component which looks like this so class f extends uh, react dot component if your uh, if your uh, component looks like this so basically that means it's a class component and you cannot use u state inside class components you need to convert them to functional component if it's possible for your project and it makes sense for you so that's out of the way you can only use u state inside functional components i cannot stress enough right i have made that mistakes many times so just take care of that next thing it's possible to have multiple u states in one functional component so let's try let's create one incrementer right so i'll just it's pretty simple stuff what i'll do is i'll just copy this part uh, forget about the css classes we will not worry about them okay th this is why and i'll just save it and if we we have two stuff here so let's go ahead and create one more uh u state right and we will just say number right let's say num and here we'll say set num and let's start with number 10 right here and what we will do is here instead of avatar we will have num and we'll say change 10 change num and here we can create a new function so we will say change oops my bad change num right here man what's wrong with this guy it's, it's so bummed up it's hard to see num set num use state and change avatar button change now okay uh we we don't have the function right so let's go ahead and create the function so we'll say cons change num equal this 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 right here and if we save it it works fine right and now let's just whenever we press the button what we can do is we can increase the number and so let's just say num plus one and ta-da right it, we don't need this so i'll just close this and refresh and if we do this it works this works awesome right cool stuff so another thing uh, another important point which you guys should really understand like all the hooks they need to be called in same order every time for every re-render now you would say like of course man this both this u state will be called in same order every time not really right uh, you may try to do uh, do something like this right you can do if uh, let's say blah equal equal to blah right like let's say you you just say true if it's true right which is going to be true every time for now and you can create uh, you try to create u state right here if you do this you will get an error like compile time error which is good right so but just make sure like it let's just increase this right it, it says react hook u state is called conditionally react hooks must be called in the exact same order in every common component re-render uh, just render so yeah just that so make sure they are always in a, a good way a, a good like way to judge is they should always be in this this scope right no other scope it should fall under after your functional component as simple as that next thing now here we have a problem here 
Now let's here we are incrementing with one, right? Let's say if we are incrementing it two times, right? Inside same uh, function call. Now, if I change, if I increment this, it should be 12, right? Because it's going to be 10 plus one, which is 11 and it 11 plus one, which is going to be 12. So I'll just hit num, man, it, it's not working. So what's happening is whenever you click change num, it is still doing the re-render, but the way we have uh, structured this, it, it's using same num. You, you are basically, this is just overriding previous set num, right? Overriding, overriding, which is not good. What if you actually wish, so whenever you wish to perform operations on using a previous state, right? What we are doing right now, what you would do is remove this and you can pass in a function here right inside set num and you would return you would say this and here you can get previous state so let's say p state which is going to be previous state of that u state right so when you do p state inside set num you get previous state of set num you don't get previous state of avatar okay so yeah i i, I have got that question a lot so just that's out of the way and we'll do p state plus one and now let's just duplicate this right uh, and I saved it and I'll just uh, refresh and when I do change num now it works right so just uh, make sure you use this whenever you are trying to perform operations on previous state next thing let me see my notes what we can talk about uh, okay that's out of the way okay uh, inside you state default value can be anything right it can be string it can be boolean it can be number whatever and it can be array and an object right so let's try to uh, switch all this stuff inside an object so what you would do is what we will do is stuff set stuff and here we will say use state and let's just say avatar and we will get this guy here our ghost is back and here we'll say num and make it 10 so basically we are putting both the uh, use state inside one and using object now uh, of course like personally I would recommend you to this way but I'm just showing you like uh, that this is possible and there is a trick here right which you guys should know so we'll just test it out but I would personally go with this structure so I'll just remove this and we need to fix some stuff okay let's say i'll just comment this part out here first and for now let's just hide this stuff right and i'll show you what's the problem here and when we save it okay uh, the problem is with the avatar what we will do is stuff dot avatar because now it's this right it's stuff and here we'll say stuff dot avatar as well and oh my bad so this is setting avatar what we need to do is we need to create an object and we'll say avatar so basically we uh, this is an object so set avatar needs an object as well and i'll save it and i'll save it and it's still not working stuff dot avatar set avatar is not defined and this is going to be set stuff and save oh my god avatar 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 this is going to be stuff dot avatar okay cool okay perfectly fine and looks like it's working right now let's try to bring this guy into the picture right and let's see what happens and here of course num is going to be set uh, num oh sorry so it's going to be stuff dot num my bad uh, I have a lot of things going in my head right now so change num where here and we need to uncomment this out and we will just comment this part out because we don't we we can actually remove this functions we don't need them and save it and we have number as well stuff dot num why it's not displaying okay we have oh we need to reload the page now this is the problem here see what happens inside change avatar we are setting the object uh, to just avatar like with class components if you did this it will just overwrite avatar right and it, so it will keep 
data of num but right now with hooks what happens is when you click here your num is lost because here you are basically copying this new object is the state now right so what you can do is in this scenario you can do the same thing p state and return this and we will return this guy here we will say return we need one more curly here and we will use spread operator so basically we will spread previous state before we uh, change uh, make changes to current stuff right and i'll just save it refresh the page here change avatar and we still have the number so you can do the same thing for change num uh, let's let's do that i'll just copy this guy here paste it right here and with avatar just remove this we'll just say and here you can do this right p state dot num plus one cool right and just save it and refresh again uh, okay it's there and change num is working fine as well okay uh okay one last thing to work i i know it's been a long video but once you understand all this stuff like you will be great with you a uh, use state hook right and it's really important for you to know this it's it's one of the most used hook which will be for you as well right like i use it all the time yeah i know it's hard to speak english for me but i'm i'm trying my best okay uh last topic let's move to the last topic right here okay here uh so let me show you one thing what happens here is this default is called on every re-render right it's 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 being called every re-render let me demonstrate how so let's create one more function uh const first uh, render and and we'll just return this object right here so i'll just copy this guy and just call first re first render here and just paste it and save okay uh, uh, it does work right but now let's console log this and we'll say i am here and we'll open up our tools and i'll refresh again and whenever the state is changed whenever component is re-rendered this default stuff is called like every every re-render right you can see it here what if you are trying to perform some complex operations for your default objects right or you, you just want it to be called just once when the component is loaded what you can do is same thing you can you can return as a function right when you do this it will be just called once i'll, I'll refresh the page once again and you can see even if i press all this stuff it still doesn't change okay awesome so that's it th for this video and uh let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or if i missed something right or if you have any suggestions for future videos and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for future videos just like this thank you and until next time